Hello guys, today I want to talk about dots. Well, in fact, three dots. Have you seen that code somewhere in PHP? It's not Laravel syntax, it's a PHP syntax. Maybe some parameters could be passed with dot dot dot. What does that mean and what does it do? This is an example from Laravel activity log package by Spati. But actually, if we look at the source of Laravel framework itself, if we search for dot dot dot, we have 258 files with some false positives, of course, but here params, here address, arguments, parameters, and stuff like that. So all over the framework. So it should be pretty important, right? So let's take a look at the theory and then we'll come back to Laravel framework as an example. So this is generally from other programming languages. It's called splat operator. It was released in PHP 5.6, as you can see here in the URL, and it's officially called argument unpacking, which means that if your function accepts three parameters, you can pass one of them as a number or a string, so single value, and then all the others, you can pack them into array, and that operator will automatically unpack them for you into single variables. So this is an example with static number of variables, but it's especially useful when you have multiple unknown amount of variables. Many parameters to that method, it could be two, three, or more. So this is exactly what is done in Laravel framework, for example. If we take a look at str helper in Laravel, it actually creates a str class under the hood and calls some method with parameters. And those parameters are unknown. It depends, of course, on what method you call. But then if we look inside in that str class, what are the methods and what are their possible parameters? Here's an example. For example, if you want str contains, you have a haystack, the main string, and then needles. It's not just needle, it's needles as array, or maybe not. So this is exactly the case. You may pass one variable or you may pass an array. And then that function inside, the contains function, checks if it's not iterable so if it's not an array then it transforms that into an array and on top you can see it may be string or iterable string so basically you need to use that dot 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 if your method has a parameter that may be an array or a single value and laravel is pretty famous for that for better or for worse there are people that hate that kind of double behavior but laravel is famous for accepting different values and still sorting it out with an eloquent or string or other class Question to you, have you used splat operator in your projects? Then what was the use case and was it readable and clear to other developers on your team? Share your experience in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.